Welcome back guys, Chris here and Caffrey from Caffrey Fitness. So in this video we are discussing how to get stronger and how to improve on your strength. So this video actually came about from a conversation I had with a friend in the gym. We just finished squatting and I asked him, what do you have next? He looked at me and said, I'm pretty much done, just some accessories. And that mindset is what I really want to discuss. Now let me step back a second before we really get into it. So when we think about strength and how to get stronger, Oftentimes we're thinking of the big three, your squats, bench, and deadlifts. Especially if you're a powerlifter, you're often thinking of how can I improve on my total? And so because of that, that's where the majority of our training, the majority of our effort and time is going towards, which isn't a bad thing, but then we often forget or don't take our accessory movements too seriously. When we're not taking our accessory movements seriously, there is a lot of potential for strength gains that we're leaving on the table. So when, when talking about accessories, what do I mean? So it's the additional lifts to those big three movements if that's what we're focusing on, or exercises we can use to kind of improve on our weaker points. For example, let's say you're deadlifting and you struggle to lock out at the top. An accessory movement that you can use would be rack pull, so you can load the bar and focus on the top half of the movement. And again, for bench press, let's say you struggle to lock out, then something you can do is work on floor press, or when you get the blocks, you can do block press. So it basically comes down to looking at where your weak points are, addressing that, and looking for movements which can help supplement and aid that in order to help become a stronger athlete overall. Because basically, your weakest link is going to pull you down at the end of the day. So the other thing I, really, I also want to talk about is a lot of times there's muscle groups that aren't the primary movers, but which also help a lot in aid and in strength. For instance, I like I focus a lot on exercises which build my lats, like uh, penlay rows and pull-ups. Because even in squats, we don't think about it that much. But although legs are primary movers, lats play a big role in getting tight. Because when you can create that tension, it helps keep your core tight. You can it'll help you to keep your chest up and stay in a good position. So all all our muscle groups come into play. And if we can focus on also getting stronger in those weaker points and our accessory movements, then it can come full circle and aid to help break plateaus in your big three lifts as well. And so don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you have to always go balls to the wall in your accessory movements, especially if you're peaking for competition, yes, your focus should be on the big three, but you should periodize. So let's say in your off season, then you can kind of make some of those accessory movements more of your primary focus and that can help you become just a full around complete athlete. And the other thing I want to touch about is you can use those accessories to kind of, you know, work on points and kind of sculpt that peak physique body. I'm just playing. But you kind of get the point I'm making. So don't, don't get in that mindset where your accessories don't matter. They do matter. Focus on them. Get strong at them. And ultimately you will see your lifts growing and you will get stronger. Thanks for watching guys. If there's anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Uh, for more workouts, videos, train tips, like and subscribe if you like this video. Share it, it helps a ton. Get Cap it. We will catch you next time.